what if I told you that you're looking at ChatGPT 5.2 right now? This isn't a joke, this garlic bulb might actually be the code name for OpenAI's next major model. And this week, multiple verified reports confirm that Salm Eltman has declared code red inside OpenAI. So let's break down what's going on, what garlic actually is, and why people think that this could be GPT 5.2 or even GPT 5.5. OpenAI CEO Salm Altman recently sent an internal memo reported by The Verge, WSJ, Forbes, and other reputable outlets declaring code red. And here's what that means inside OpenAI. Projects like ads and shopping are being paused, teams are being redirected back to core LLM work, and improving ChatGPT's quality, speed, and personalization is now priority number one. And OpenAI wants to push out a new reasoning model as soon as possible. According to the report, OpenAI has a new reasoning model it is preparing to launch that is ahead of Gemini 3 in OpenAI's internal evaluations. So this isn't speculation, this is directly from verified news articles. And in that same report, the codename Garlic appears for the first time. Garlic is a new model under development. It incorporates bug fixes and improvements. Sam Altman wants Garlic released as soon as possible and reporters believe this points to a release of GPT 5.2 or GPT 5.5 by early next year or even sometimes in December. This is important because Garlic is officially acknowledged as real. Garlic is intended to challenge Gemini 3. Mark Chen, OpenAI's chief research officer, reportedly said Garlic is performing ahead of Gemini 3 internally. And Garlic includes fixes from Shallowpete. This detail is fascinating. Garlic incorporates bug fixes used in developing Shallowpeat during the pre-training process. So Garlic isn't just a small update, it's structural improvement to OpenAI's training pipeline. And that's why people now believe Garlic is the internal codename for GPT 5.2. Now how does GPT 5.2 differ from GPT 5.1? So these are some anticipated capabilities comparison between the two models. If we look at overall intelligence, GPT 5.2 is supposed to increase the intelligence by about 5 basis points. There's a small upgrade on the math reasoning side, but when we look at coding in Agentic, there isn't a big upgrade over here. But the biggest upgrade is actually supposed to come from speed and efficiency. As we talked about earlier, GPT 5.2 is trying to make a model that is fast, but at the same time not compromising on efficient answers. As it comes to reliability, it's supposed to get an upgrade as well. The conversational quality is supposed to be on par but just a slightly bit above GPT 5.1. The second area where we see a big upgrade is on customizability. We are expecting GPT 5.2 to be able to understand the user more and give the user the power to change the model to their liking. So these are anticipated results, obviously this is not official, but we are expecting these changes in the upcoming GPT 5.2 version, also known as Garlic. To make matters even more crazy, there have been some early GPT 5.2 benchmarks and they're starting to circulate online. And if any of these numbers that I'm about to show you right now are real, it could mean a huge jump for OpenAI compared to Gemini. So let's take a look. All right, let's look at the first benchmark, which is humanity's last exam. GPT 5.2 is supposed to hit 67.4%. So if that is actually true, it's almost like GPT 5.2 is supposed to have almost doubled the capabilities of Gemini 3 Pro at academic reasoning. Then when we look at the ARC AGI 2 benchmark, GPT 5.2 is supposed to hit 62.2% and Gemini 3 Pro is supposed to hit 31.1%. So we can see that once again, there's a big gap between the first two benchmarks. Now, what's really cool is that Amy 2025 benchmark for mathematics and with no tools, GPT 5.2 is supposed to achieve 100%. Now, obviously, these results are speculation and these are not official benchmark results. But if any of these numbers are true, we're going to see GPT 5.2 take over Gemini 3 Pro instantly. Now, the question then becomes, did Sam Altman on purpose release GPT 5.1 just to see the capabilities of Gemini 3 Pro before he dropped this nuke model, which is GPT 5.2? Who knows? And if that is the case, Sam Altman just played 40 chess with everyone and he just fooled the whole internet and on purpose was holding on to GPT 5.2 after Gemini 3 Pro was released. Now, when was GPT 5.2 supposed to launch? Well, what's really interesting about this was that the original date on Polymarket was set at December 9, and there was a high confidence amongst a lot of people that it would be out 
really soon. If you look at it before today, the results were almost about close to 90 plus percent. And people are estimating that December 9th will be the day that GPT 5.2 would have launched. But overnight, something interesting happened. If you look at the graph right now, overnight, the chance of GPT 5.2 dropping on December 9th went all the way down to 5%. And this doesn't happen all the time. When you see a big drop like this, usually this means that there's an insider that knows the actual date and has changed his whole prediction. Now, this is kind of crazy because a lot of people are tracking who was betting on this, and there are big players who are actually moving the market right now. Obviously, this could be due to the fact that December 9th is today while I'm recording this and people have realized that the model is now out yet. Or it could be also because an insider knows a new date and that could actually be between December 15th or 19th. So sometime next week, we might see GPT 5.2 live. If I were you and including myself, I'll be on the look for more notes and more poly market moves to notice when will GPT 5.2 actually release and I'll make an update on when it drops. If you thought that GPT 5.2 rumors were the only thing that was crazy happening this week, well, that's not it. A a there are actually two new models available on LM Arena called Skyhawk and Seahawk, and they're apparently Gemini 3 Flash Sleeper models. Now, these models were apparent on LM Arena, and we actually tested these models on our main channel. And let me show you guys what it was able to create. So the models were actually asked to create a browser based OS and we can see right now on screen that we are looking at what the Skyhawk, which is the Gemini 3 flash model was able to create. You can see it had a notification, added multiple features like these, which is crazy good. And if you think that Gemini is not going to take a step while GPT 5.2 is appearing, well, that's not the case. Both of these providers, Gemini and GPT 5.2, are about to go head to head once again in the end of December. And we might see new models coming up at the end of this year or sometime early next year. So stay tuned and I'll make sure to keep you guys all updated. So that's where everything lands today. OpenAI has gone code red. Garlic is in development. Incredible reporting now points to GPT 5.2 or 5.5 arriving sooner than anyone expected. At the same time, Google isn't slowing down either. New Gemini leaks suggest they're already testing follow-up models smaller, faster, and designed to push their advantage while OpenAI scrambles to respond. So we now have both companies accelerating simultaneously. Google tightening its grip with Gemini and OpenAI quietly preparing a model important enough to earn its own code name, Garlic. What happens next will depend on which side moves first and how powerful garlic really is once it steps outside from behind the leaks. If you enjoyed this video, this is what we do here. Fast, clear updates on the biggest moves in AI. If you want to stay ahead of everything happening in this space, make sure you're subscribed. And if you want the hands-on side, demos, tools, workflows, and everything developers can actually build with, check out the world of AI. We also run a simple no-noise newsletter that gives you the most important AI tools and updates in just a couple of minutes. Subscribe here, follow World of AI, join the newsletter, and I'll see you in the next one.